Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. And today I wanna to show you what is in my tech bag for 2021. Caveat before we actually start, these aren't things that I would take with me every single day, but they are things I find very useful and I would take it with me in some scenario or not. Okay, so at the heart of my entire setup and my backpack is my MacBook Pro 2018. This thing is an absolute beast with the 32 gigs of RAM, an i9 processor, one terabyte solid state drive and a dedicated graphics card. It is so quick. It's great to export video for, and I don't really have any need to upgrade to the M1 chip. So I'm staying with this one at the moment and yeah, I'm really happy with it. Don't really have any, any intention to upgrade anytime soon. Now, of course, when you have a MacBook Pro, you only have the option for the USB-C ports. So I got this adapter, which is from Uni, got it from Amazon, and it has a micro SD card, SD card, USB-A, USB-C, and HDMI as well. So it's really useful, and I've always got it with me when I'm using my MacBook or any other machine that takes just USB-C exclusively. It's got this blue bumper, which is quite ruggedized, and it comes with a very small USB-C to USB-C cable, which is great. And it's read and write speed is also quite quick. Definitely recommended, and it's probably something like 10 to 15 pounds. I can't remember how much I got it for. Another thing that I've got is this SanDisk solid state drive. It's an external drive, and this particular one is 500 gig. I got this for about just under 90 pounds. There's also a terabyte option as well which is around about 120 pounds. This thing is really small, really slim, and it's just so great because my old hard drive was a huge brick. It needed a power cable to power it up. Whilst this one, it's just USB-C to USB-C. It's read and write speed is really quick as well. Here's a quick comparison for you against the iPhone 11, just to give you an idea of how small it actually is. You can see it's really thin and the overall form factor too is a lot smaller. So it's really easy to kind of just take with you. Next up, I also have a SanDisk USB stick. So this is 256 gigs, but what's great about it is on one side it has USB-C and on the other side, it has a USB-A. So it works with all kinds of ranges of devices and it's useful for quick backups. And you know, I just keep this with me as well for any additional storage. And of course you can connect it to tablets and phones too. All right, we're gonna take a quick 10 second commercial break. If you are liking any of the products that I've shown in this video, make sure to give it a like, it really helps out for the algorithm and I would just really love you for it. All right, back to the main video. Next up is my power brick. So I've got this juice power bank and what's great about it as well is it's got this display which showcases the battery capacity. So right now you can see it's at 82%. By the way, it's a 10,000 milliamp power bank. What I don't like about it is it's not USB-C, so it's not the fastest, but I got this uh, as an impulse buy because I was running out of battery on a phone and I needed the juice at the time. No pun intended. So if you guys have any recommendations for USB-C based power bank, let me know in the comments. Also, I think this is probably my most used tech product since I've bought them. The AirPods Pro, I absolutely love these. Had these since they launched and I use them every single day. I get a good four and a half hours of battery life from these and you know, I don't have to charge it every single night because to be honest, the two, three hours a day I use it, it works. So let's just ignore that that happened. Yeah, the form factor is great. One of the problems is the case because it is very easily vulnerable to scratches. So I did end up buying the case for them from Wish. I ordered it in black for 99p and this is what I ended up with, a red AirPods Pro case. But um, hey, I got it from Wish. I don't know what else I was expecting. At least it does the job. It protects the AirPods as well. So, you know, whatever, it works. <laughs> Next up is for whenever I'm on holidays, I've got the GoPro Hero 4. Obviously, you know, you've got much newer version of the GoPros, but to be honest, this one gives me the quality I need and I bought this a few years ago. So it does the job for me. The screen is really useful as well, but to be fair, I probably haven't used it for at least two years at this point, but still really useful to have. And a lot of this tech that I use is then put into this gridded cocoon system, which basically has all these straps so I can put different size wires and tech products in there just to organize it. This particular one is the smaller one and there is also a larger option available too, which I do have. So let me just quickly bring it. Here we go. So this is the larger cocoon and you can see it's got a larger form factor and there's also a zip on the back as well. And I use that to kind of store my passport and currency. So really useful. And I use both of these as well. Okay, hear me out. This is a bit of a weird one, but Ali Abdul recommended this in one of his videos and it's an electric toothbrush. I got it because it has a 30 second timer. So it reminds me when I need to switch to the other side of my mouth. They're detachable. You can 
in the box you get like eight different ones but what's great is it comes with this carry case usually with my toothbrushes i just kind of dump them in a bag which is quite unhygienic this plastic shell means i can just put any of the accessories and also the toothbrush itself directly in the hard shell and it's ready to go which just means it's more hygienic and yeah it's better I got it from Amazon for about 20 pounds, an absolute great buy, so I would definitely recommend it. Okay, next up is my phone. So I have two phones. For the Android one, I have the Honor View 20. The reason being is because I just like its overall size. It's got that fingerprint scanner on the back that you can see, which I find useful. And for the price, it was relatively cheap as well. An Android phone just gives me kind of more customizability, which is something I like as iOS doesn't really have it and the bezels on this are really thin so it just looks like a really modern phone so definitely would recommend it now for my ios device i went for the iphone 11 i've had this since launch and to be honest with you it's just been great i don't really see much need to upgrade to the iphone 12 because to be honest with you it's got pretty much all the same features and yeah the amoled screen would be nice but yeah it doesn't really matter it still does the job really well. Also, the iPhone 11 is complemented thanks to this lovely hard shell case, which I got from Amazon for again, about 10 pounds. Spot the trend, everything's from Amazon. But just take a look at this. The matte black camera works really well with this case and it looks like it's really an official thing. And because it's quite minimal and thin, it just complements the phone too. So I really love it for that. Moving on, this is my wallet. It's from Porsche Design. It was gifted to me by a very good friend of mine. And what's great about it is just its overall quality. I've had this thing for three years and it's still really robust. You can kind of see around all the corners and stuff. They're not damaged. It's not got wear and tear, even though this is usually in my pocket pretty much every single day. So I think everyone needs a good wallet. Now, my tablet of choice is the Huawei MatePad. I just like it because of its dimensions. It's kind of got that 16 by nine aspect ratio and it works really well on my desk setup as well. And because it's Android, it just gives me a lot of options to customize it to. Okay, so I've switched over now to the iPhone 11 camera to show you the main body camera I use and it's the Sony a7 III. Absolutely love this thing. And because now we're in 2021, it's really affordable as well in comparison to what it used to be. It was a great recommendation by Saf from Super Saf and also by Olia from Ultralinks. They both have been using it as well and I just love the footage quality from it. My lens of choice is the Tamron 28 to 75 millimeter F2.8. Saf recommended this to me and it just is such a good lens. Really versatile, kind of works for all different scenarios, whether I'm doing close-up shots, I'm doing shots of myself, when you know I'm doing talking heads, B-roll, A-roll, absolutely love this thing. In comparison, some lenses can be much, much, much more expensive. So yeah, it's about 700 odd pounds, which is still a lot of money, but in comparison to other lenses, really affordable. I would definitely recommend it. There's actually two other things that I completely forgot to show when I was recording the other video clips. So I'm gonna show them now. And the first one is this Anchor Charger. So I got this from Amazon. I think it was something like 25, 30 pounds, and it has both a USB-C and also the traditional USB-A. Anchor products are really good and this is a 30 watt charger I believe so it charges up iPhones, tablets, Android phones really fast. Okay this is quite a cool one and I don't know why I forgot to show this before but it's got to be my drone which is the DJI Spark. I just love this thing because of its size. Overall it's just really compact and I take it with me whenever I'm going either on holiday to countries that allow drones or even in the UK in certain areas you just have to check where you can actually fly them. So this thing is great. All right, guys, that is it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and found some tech that maybe you want to go for instead. I know some of the stuff is outdated and there is a new version available. So do take a look. I'll leave some information in the description down below as well. If you enjoyed the video, do give the channel a subscribe. It really helps out and I would appreciate it. And that's it. Take care. I'll see you next time.